the biannual webathon has just started it's literally 12 o'clock i'm actually really tired and like ready to go to bed but other people have different plans for me because there are people yelling and screaming outside because it is a Friday night and people are going out. But um, I actually have like my family coming around tomorrow for this is my brother's birthday and we're going out for lunch. But they're all coming over like 12. So obviously I didn't want to go out tonight. Also, it's the beginning of the biannual bibliothon. So I got this to read. I think I'm going to start off with Animal Farm just because it's the shortest one. I'm going to brush my teeth and get into bed and read. It's currently just past one in the morning and I have to go to bed because I have to get up at a sensible time tomorrow. Can't wash my hair in the morning but i just made it to page 40 of animal farm which is just under halfway because this book's only 95 pages i'm definitely gonna be finishing it tomorrow and it's actually just got really interesting so i'm like i don't want to put it down but i have to go to bed because i'm tired and it's just got quiet so i'm like i can go to sleep now because if i wait like later like if you wait till like two o'clock then it will start getting noisy again because people come home living in student accommodation is just the worst let me tell you that's where i'm at so far i'll update you more later hello it is the morning of the next day oh my god i'm so tired i need to film these updates when i'm not exhausted i actually didn't end up going to sleep right away i read about 10 more pages just because then i was at the 50 mark and then that was pretty much halfway it was just starting to get really intense so i wanted to know what's happening next and then i really struggled to get to sleep so i've only just woken up it's nine o'clock. Anyway, I'm just gonna eat some breakfast. Then I'm gonna have a shower because I need to wash my hair. So that gives it a bit of time to like dry a bit. During that time, I go to read. For now, coffee and breakfast. I'm now ready to go out for lunch, but my family is not gonna be here for another 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try and bang out one more chapter of this before I go. But the next chapter is like 15 pages long, so I don't think it's gonna happen. But I'm gonna try and read it as much as possible before they get here. I did listen to the Harry Potter audiobook whilst I was doing my makeup. That wasn't on my TBR, but that's just my current audiobook at the moment. So that's my I listen to whilst preparing myself. I'm definitely gonna finish this one today and I'm so excited. I want to see how it ends out. Hello, I'm back at home. It has been a fairly long day. I was essentially out of the house for about six hours, so I have not had that much reading done today yet. And then I've just been catching up on some of the video challenges for today. I just have like one more that I want to watch right now and then I'm going to pick up some more of Animal Farm. I'm definitely gonna finish this tonight because I'm already on page 70 of 95. I've got 25 pages left, which means I'm really close to the end. And then I can start on a turtle all the way down. I'm hoping to get quite a big chunk of that done today. I still need to eat at dinner, but I'm still quite full from lunch, so I'm not gonna eat dinner until like eight. I've got quite a bit of time left for today, so I'm hoping to get quite a bit more done today. But I mean, either way, I will have finished this, so I will have at least finish my first book on the first day, so that's good. But yeah, that is all for now. I will update you later when I've got some more interesting stuff going on. So it's been a while since I last updated you. I last updated you at like 7.30. There was a reading sprint I decided to take part, and then I had almost finished Animal Farm, so then I just went ahead and finished it. So I've already finished my first book of the readathon, which is very exciting. This completed two of the challenges, which were to read a book under 200 pages, and also to read a book that was mentioned in another book or film or TV show. I completed that, and I read a classic, and I enjoyed it. What? Yeah, I ended up giving this four out of five stars. I really liked it, surprisingly. I didn't absolutely love it, just because the way it concluded it was just very abrupt, and I would have liked some more development up in there, but I enjoyed it for the most part, and now I've just moved on to Turtles All the Way Down. So far, I'm enjoying it, but I've heard a lot of people say that Daisy, which is the best friend, is really annoying and kind of awful. I'm already getting irritated by her, so yeah, not a great start for that character. The rest of it's good so far. I'm only on page 18, but I have nothing else to do tonight, so I'm going to try and read to like page 100. That's my goal for the night. And then that takes me to 195 pages for the day, which would be quite nice. So maybe around the 100 page mark would be good. I don't want to go to bed too late though, because I have to get up super early on Monday morning. So I'm going to try and get myself into a better sleeping routine. That's all for now. I will update you later on when I've done some more reading. I'm about to turn in for the night because I'm really, really tired. I just read 136 pages of this bad boy and I read 95 pages earlier with Animal Farm. I also listened to an audiobook of Harry Potter, but I don't know how many pages that is. So that brings my total up to 231 pages for today, which is not too bad considering I had quite a busy day, almost six hours of not being home. So it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm just really tired and I need to get up at a sensible time tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully I can get a lot more reading done tomorrow, even though this was still a good amount and I read like one and a half books, so not too bad. But yeah, that's all for today. So I'll see you tomorrow with some more updates. Hello everyone, it is day two of the Vibing Bibliothon and it is snowing. See? 
It's snowing. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's snowing. But it's only about quarter to ten, and I haven't actually done any reading yet today. I only woke up at twenty past nine, which is later than I wanted to, because I have to get up at seven tomorrow for class. But at least I'm up now, and I'm starting to feel a bit sick, which is not great. But it means I can just stay in bed and read all day, and that's acceptable to stay in bed all day. But I'm just gonna read some more of Turtles all the way down. It's just about one o'clock now. I just got dressed literally just now and made my bed because I've been trying to make my bed every day. I literally just got dressed just because it couldn't be bothered. I still need to wash my face and stuff. I'm just gonna do that after I eat lunch. But I'm just gonna go make lunch now. But before that, I've been reading this all morning and I've read about 100 pages almost and I've only got like 60 pages left, which is pretty good. I'm gonna go and eat lunch and then I'm going to finish this afterwards because I'm incapable of eating and reading at the same time. I'm gonna take a break and eat some lunch and then get back to reading. I just finished cooking and eating and cleaning up after my lunch and it's now about half past two. I definitely want to finish Turtles all the way down today so I'm gonna get to that soon. But whilst I was doing my lunch and stuff, I was listening to the Harry Potter audiobook all the time. But when I say the Harry Potter audiobook, I mean Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That's the one I'm on at the moment in my reread because this is my third time rereading the series. Order of the Phoenix just kills me. Like I really struggled to get through it because it's my least favorite one. <laughs> I'm just listening to that one. But I think I had about 300 pages left. So I'm hoping to finish it during the week and then I'll just count that like in my total. I really need to do an order from the supermarket come in a few days time just because I don't have any food. Last week, I just went to the nearby supermarket and bought my stuff and brought it back, but the bags were so heavy, so I need to do an order, and I've been meaning to that for a few days, so I think I'm going to continue listening to the audiobook because I'm also in the middle of the chapter, and I'll do my order, and then I'll get back to Turtles, and then I've done something productive today, apart from just read. I just finished my second book of the read-along, which was, of course, Turtles All the Way Down. I did actually really enjoy this story for the most part. Probably gonna give it a four out of five stars, because I really enjoyed it, but I didn't absolutely love it, mainly because of Daisy. She was so and now I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, probably watch a few videos on YouTube, maybe do some yoga, hopefully I need to do that. I don't want to just jump straight into another story because then I'll get slumpy, so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then I'll start up reading again a bit later. I just did my yoga and it felt good but also bad because I feel a bit ill and I have all day and that just made me kind of feel like I was gonna be sick, which is not great. The feeling is kind of passing out. I have some water and that should help. Hello. I'm sitting on the floor because this was the best angle I could do where I didn't have to hold the phone. I just got ready for bed but I'm about to start my third book of the readathon, which is A Torching's Night by Salva Tahir. I realized though that I don't actually have to read this because I'm probably going to finish Order of the Phoenix and that would count as a sequel as well as a backlist title. But I'm going to start this one and then if I can't get into it, then I will read it another time. I know some people are going out tonight in my building, so it's potentially going to be really noisy, which would suck because I have a 9 a.m. tomorrow, which means I have to get up super early because I also need to wash my hair tomorrow before I go. I'm aiming to get up at 6.30 so I can do some yoga before I go to class. Just so that wakes me up a bit. Also, that's kind of what I've been wanting to get into the routine of doing, but I just haven't because obviously I had last week off and I was just here like chilling. So hopefully it's not too loud. If it is too loud though, then I'll, like, I'll just stay up reading longer, but my aim is to be asleep by like 11. So it gives me an hour of reading time. I'll update you right before I go to bed. So I'll be looking great and not at all tired. Hello there, it's Samantha. So I didn't actually finish updating you yesterday. I read 50 pages of a Twitch Kids tonight and then I decided to try and go to sleep. But the people who live behind me, it's like two windows down from me, there's this kitchen. And they decided to drink and like screech <laughs> in that kitchen. So I was kind of irritated about that because I can hear everything. So I'm falling asleep to one and now it is seven and I'm so tired. I'm just gonna go ahead and have a shower, wash my hair, strip my bed because it's sheet washing day, and then go out and breakfast. I probably won't get any reading done before I go to class, but I'll probably get some audio booking in actually. That's all for now. from class. It was a struggle. 9 till 11, all in Spanish. I didn't take any headphones with me, so I couldn't listen to an audiobook on the way. So instead, I just phoned my mom and then my sister. And then I had to walk down to the supermarket because I had no bananas and I also got a snack because I was really hungry. I got this cocoa oat protein flapjack. It's pretty good because I really want something sweet, like a biscuit or something, but obviously I'm vegan, so I can't eat any of that stuff. But this is vegan, so, and it's hidden spot. But I need to do my laundry, so I'm gonna listen to audiobooks all the time. Whilst I do that, but whilst I was getting ready, I started listening to the Otherworld audiobook. 
it is really reminding me of Ready Player One, which I hated. But it's kind of funny, so it's okay so far. Well, I'm finishing my bar first, and then I'm gonna do my laundry. Fun stuff. Look, a washing machine that's finished. Oh look, another one. Oh look, another one, and another one. And no one's here to move them into the empty dryers. Oh, so many. There's literally two towels in that machine, and just no one's coming to move it, and I'm losing it. Oh my god. So I had a little bit of a fiasco with the washing machines, and so I'm only just now finished my laundry, and it's 4.15. I started doing my laundry at 1.30, and it's now 4.15. I've only just finished. But now I have all of it to fold, and I also need to make my bed, so I'm gonna do that while I listen to the Other World audiobook, which I started earlier. I'm hoping to finish that today. Hello! I was really, really tired, and like, I thought I was getting ill because I felt so tired and run down this afternoon that I was about to go to bed at like 8 o'clock, but now I feel more awake, which is just the story of my life. But I'm gonna try and get to bed by like 10. I just finished listening to Other World for the day. I haven't finished it, but I'm 60% of the way through. I think I'm gonna finish watching some YouTube videos and get into bed and read some more of Torch Kids Tonight. But it's actually day four. I forgot to update. Well, I just didn't update you last night because I didn't want to look at my phone again. But last night I finished listening to Other World. I wasn't going to, but then I was like, I've got like four hours left. And I'm listening to it on two times speed, so it's like two hours. So might as well just finish it. So I finished that, which brought my total for yesterday, page wise, to about 355. I also do listen to some of Harry Potter, but I'm just going to put like 300 on the day that I finish it because that's how many pages I had left. I'm just going to like add 300 onto my total just because I don't know how to like break it down. But I finished the world it was a three out of five star book it was all right but it's not really my cup of tea and then also it was really similar to ready player one which i hated i was like ugh ready player one not again i don't think i'll be continuing on with the series although i am a little bit intrigued so we'll see that's the rest of my update for day three